Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, I am so, so, so kind of, well, if you live long enough, you know enough. So, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, listen to this. I was so disappointed when I read this article today, so I might as well just follow up and make this the last in the trilogy of the um, um, Sonya Curry situation. Because, um, to be honest with y'all, this is, you know, look like this might get messy. And, um, you know, if it's one thing we don't like is we hate it when we see our, um, when you see your couples just that play out stuff in the media and it gets messy. So it also lets you know that, you know, whenever you see something and you see it shining, does not mean it's gold. Okay. So according to the Daily Mail, Miss Sonia hmm, is having an affair with an old person she knew from college. No, I haven't mercy. Girl, and then I was reading on the other video that I loaded up. <laughs> um, you ask me, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Steph Curry's father, Dale Curry, accuses a strained wife, Sonia, of extramarital affair with ex-NFL player Johnson. Sonia, 55, girl, filed paperwork June 14th in North Carolina for the split from 58. She said he engaged in multiple affairs that were known by family and friends, probably so. Sonia says they separated in March 2020. Um, now, Johnson... In 1988, was a six-round pick for the England Patriots. Sonia said she had been dating a man but was living on her own. The couple, of course, are parents to Steph, 33, Seth, 31, and daughter, Sadell, 26. Now, they married in the year 1988. Mm, 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 mm. Um. Stephen Curry's father, Dale Curry, has accused his estranged wife, Sonia, of extramarital affair with ex-NFL player Steven Johnson and their split. Dale, 58, in court documents reviewed by TMZ, says that Sonia, 55, has misled him about their relationship with Johnson. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit, is relationships. And I'm not going to let Mr. Nick Cannon off the uh, hook. Um, not that I'm sitting in any kind of seat of judgment, but I think it's really important when we start talking about being factual that we have to look at all perspectives. I mean, honestly. So if she misled Dale about her relationship with Johnson, I think that was absolutely you know, not right. Um, so this guy... She said he she misled him about his her relationship with Johnson, fifty six, who in nineteen eighty eight is a, was a six round draft pick for the New England Patriots. Hmm. Sonia began her extramarital affair with Mr. Johnson during the marriage and prior to the date of separation in March twenty twenty. Dale's legal team said in court documents, adding that Sonia lied to Dale each time she cheated on him. So this is not going to end well. 
and I hate to see another black couple go down and smoke. Um, Dale said in legal documents that Sonia should not be eligible to collect alimony. She's currently living with Johnson in Tennessee. Mm. Wow. Um, Sonia acknowledged dating a man in the months after she and Dale separated, but denied living with him, saying she lives on her own, as Dale would not let her stay in the family home following their split. Sonia filed the paperwork in June 14th in North Carolina after the split from Dale, claiming that his marital conduct included multiple affairs that were known by family and friends. She said she didn't publicly reveal her knowledge of Dale's cheating in one final act of trying to protect him and family from public exposure and scrutiny. That's yourself as well. You try to fall on your sword. Now, y'all, just this is not good. Now, it's kind of messy. I mean, but y'all human. Sony says she was left with no choice but to reveal his cheating after he accused her of being unfaithful. Johnson, 56, played college football at Virginia Tech between 84 and 87 and played in three games for the 1988 Patriots. The Bristol native, Virginia native, has ran his construction business, Johnson Commercial Development, since 1995, according to the website. The former couple have famously cheered on both their children, one for the uh, superstar Golden State, Steph, and the other one for Seth, and who has played multiple for multiple NBA franchises. And they also parents to Sadell. Sonia and Dale initially met in college at Virginia Tech and welcomed son and eight, uh, their son, Steph, in 1988. Seth in 1990, and Sadell in 94. Sonia and Dale speaking in a joint statement. Well, y'all know, yada, yada, yada. Um, that statement they made the other day was before they pulled the gloves off. So they said it comes up with this great sadness and all that. And y'all already know the spiel that the um, publicist writes. But my prayers go out to them. My heart goes out to them. Um, because divorce is never easy, and especially divorce in the public eye. I don't wish that on nobody. It's going to affect them coming up this, this season, I'm sure, to look up, especially because their parents are so much an integral part of their uh, basketball uh, audience. They look up and their mother is there, and their father is there, and, and that's been going on since they were children. Yes, they're men now, and um, but my point is they were a fixture in the arenas that their son played in. It was good for the NBA, you know. So, uh, but all good things sometimes come to an end. It seems to be one of them. Um, I hope it doesn't get any messier. So my prayers go out to the Curry family. Uh. And I hope that uh, y'all weather this storm. At the end of the day, you're still family. All right. So with that being said, if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. Uh, and we'll see you in the next video.